Hey, what's happening guys? Got a new review for you today. Very excited. This is a toy I had as a young child. This is a new Mighty Max review. Pharaoh Fang. So I think it's technically Mighty Max Battles Fang or something like that. But if it's a uh, character's name is a uh, battle is a uh, Pharaoh Fang. And uh, this is kind of a uh, sort of similar to the Magus review I did. This is an action figure uh, that is also a playset. So this is a smaller uh, version of that. Uh, but yeah, so we'll take a look at some of the details here. And this, I think, is in a pretty good condition. This is unfortunately not the one I had as a kid. I had to rebuy it. But, um, you know, he's a giant Egyptian Cobra Man. He's got a little bit of paint chip in there. But some nice details. Some cool... It's like a face almost on there. It's got a nice Egyptian staff with Anubis's head. A little dagger. So, really creepy. Looks like uh, bandages and stuff, like he's mummified. It's got the uh, the eye there. I forget what the eye is called. Is it the eye of Anubis? I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, some nice details on the legs as well. Unfortunately, you know, no posability on the legs. Uh, I mean... They go up and down, but they're stuck in this position. He does have a tail. This is a piece that can get easily lost. Uh, you can, of course, use it as like a whip or something like that, I think, if you wanted to do something like that. But, um, yeah, if you're looking for this guy, most of the time he's not going to have his little tail. So, but, yeah. Some pretty cool stuff there. And uh, this thing also just pegs in the same way. So it's the same kind of peg, but... Take a closer look at that staff. It looks pretty cool. So, yeah. Yes. So, unfortunately, this one is not rattling now, but uh, Max is a little loose in here. Uh, we'll take a look at that, though, and just open him up and see how it works on the inside. Yep, there he is. He's in the snake pit. So here's Max, big fists and everything, backpack, yeah, and there's some detail in there, there's a sticker of some snakes, some nice little bricks and stuff, this little cobra that comes up that uh, is a little point for Max to stand on, I don't know why he'd stand on a cobra's throat, but, you know, that's his little area, and as you can see back here, there's some more snakes, there's uh, snakes on the ceiling, and then there's this eye back there with a little, as you can see in the back, little missile. It's a little flick missile, so just, just push it out. And there's that missile. So, I think it's supposed to be like an eyeball or something. But you could also, um, you know, put this in his hand if you wanted him to have like a energy blast or something like that. You could do that. Let's put that back. And, of course, with every set, you need a good guy and a bad guy. So you got a good guy here in Max. And his arms, they do his head and arms all kind of move together. But you can, if you wanted to, move his arms independent. So you do that. So, yeah. Anyway, back to uh, Pharaoh Fang here. So really cleverly placed in here. He's just right in there. And he's got two snakes above his head, see? And the snakes actually uh, come out and become his eyes. So, really cool looking mummy. So he doesn't really have a place to go in the set per se. You can kind of have them just chilling outside of it. But yeah, really cool. His uh, cape is the roof of the Cobra. And that is a separate piece as well. So if you didn't want him to have it, it does sit a little high. Uh, didn't want him to have it, put it back. I don't think you can put this back on here. Maybe you can, but it's not, you know. It's not going to stay on there without him in there. 
you didn't want him to have the cape, you can go ahead and go that route. So, yeah, really cool, really cool figure. And uh, it's it's cool. It's a place that it's also so you could bring little toys and a little diorama around as well as just playing with this like I did as a kid as just another action figure. So there you go. So really cool. Really cool toy. So I got a couple more uh, Mighty Max uh, sets that I can review. And uh, if you if you if you're liking the Mighty Max stuff, if you, if you dig this kind of thing, let me know. These are fast, easy reviews to do, and uh, toys I love. So I really uh, dig it. It's, it's a little old, so. But but yeah, let me know what you think of the review, guys. Uh, leave a comment like that, ah, all that junk, and I'll talk to you guys next time.